Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all so, so well. I wanted to run through my London Fashion Week outfits, seeing as I ran through my New York Fashion Week outfits last week, maybe 10 days ago, something like that. I'll leave it linked on the screen now if you haven't already seen that. Just going through everything that I wore for New York. But I wanted to do the same for London because quite a lot of you seem to really enjoy it and I also really enjoyed putting this together too. It's been such a great London Fashion Week. It's all over now. It's a very exhausting process and I need to write more blog posts on London Fashion Week because I feel as so many people that would like to go who aren't too sure about how they get there, what the process is and all that kind of thing and so I need to do a lot more writing on this just in case any of you are quite interested but it is really good fun and it's incredibly inspiring and it does feel amazing to kind of immerse yourself in the whole fashion world and to really see what's coming up the next season and what the inspirations have been and all that so it was a really amazing week. It was also incredible because I was joined by the Glamour magazine team which is amazing. They wanted to do a video around the idea of follow along a fashion blogger at Fashion Week and they've created an incredible video, probably better than any vlog that I could have ever made, which is really really cool. So if any of you are kind of interested in kind of seeing something like a behind the scenes follow me along fashion vlog from London Fashion Week then honestly go and click this link. I'm literally just heading back to my Instagram to make sure I don't mix up these days. So first Instagram! This is what I wore day one. Loved this outfit. Okay. So the accessory I went with was this beautiful Louis Vuitton Capuchins MM, I think that's right. So it's kind of like the medium sized Capuchins bag. This is in the Magnolia Pink. As a lot of you probably know if you've watched some previous videos, I lusted after this bag for six to eight months, I think. Really, really loved it and finally got my hands on it from Vestiaire. So this is a pre-owned purchase and I absolutely love it. It's literally like new and I thought it'd be great for fashion week. So I wore that and to kind of continue those pinks, I wore it with this beautiful coat I kind of wore a very similar coat actually last week in New York Fashion Week for New York Fashion Week and that was a bit of a different material, a bit thicker. This is more of a lightweight jacket meets a coat almost. It's beautiful pastel pink, two buttons to cinch it in, big pockets but this is more of an oversized Fit. So it's a lot larger, it's almost like a large coat meets a cardigan kind of styling and it was just beautiful. I just kind of threw this over the whole outfit and with the pink of the bag it worked really really well. I love those two together and of course pink is massive for this season so I thought that was absolutely beautiful. The other piece I absolutely love of this outfit are these trousers. So I got these trousers like the day before I put this outfit together. I totally fell in love with them and was like these are like the trousers I've been looking for for ages. Now I saw Victoria Beckham, who you probably know is one of my biggest inspirations. She's an idol of mine. I think she's fantastic. She's wonderful. So she was wearing something very similar to these trousers at her show, which obviously were Victoria Beckham trousers for next season, so they're not out yet. And I found these, so I wanted like wide leg trousers to wear in a navy. And I found these from All Saints. And these are absolutely perfect for what I wanted. A great wide leg, but not too wide. They're still very flattering on the leg. A little bit of detailing with a stripe down the side in a black, that's a black stripe. This is a navy trouser. A nice lightweight material, not too thick and also not too thin and therefore see-through. They honestly fit like a dream. I absolutely love them. Now I got these in a six, so I got these in my normal size. I only say that because later on I got a different pair of trousers in a slightly smaller size, so I'll mention that later. But yeah, I love these. I'm they were a great piece for this outfit for a more tailored style. Love it. And to go with those, I finally got to wear this rag and bone top, which sends my eyes a bit funny when it's on screen. But you might remember I got this in my Upper High Street haul that I did. I found this at Selfridges from Rag and Bone and totally loved it. And I've not had time to wear it since then. I've not had an outfit for it. But it works so perfectly with this with the navy. So they went together wonderfully. And just for an extra accessory, I went with a pair of black heels and I went with these heels from Dior that I don't get to wear enough. So anytime that I can, I try and get these out. They're kind of inspired by tulip shapes, hence this beautiful work on each side and the cutouts. And of course the kind of comma heel at the end, which is very Dior. So that's what I went with. So that was outfit one. Oh no, I tell a lie, I tell a lie. I also went with a pair of sunglasses, a pair of Fendi cat eyes as well. Love that outfit. And I actually have so many compliments on that outfit. It was so nice. A lot of my friends messaged me. Susie as well, especially. Susie messaged me and was like, Vic, I love it when you do tailored styling. You looked amazing. So I was like, 
thank you so much. It was really, really lovely to hear. So that was day one, outfit one. Now day two was actually for the Julie McDonald show. And amazingly, the Julie McDonald team actually lent me a beautiful dress to wear. So embellished, so stunning. I'll leave a picture on the screen so you can have a look. And it was just an absolute dream to wear Julie McDonald. It was incredible. So I wore it with my own accessories. So whilst I can't show you that dress, because I've now sent it back to the team, um, I can show you what I wore it with. And I wore it with this absolutely beautiful bag. It's just stunning. This is a Bulgari Serpenty Forever bag in the silver metallic quilted pattern. Stunning Bulgari gemstone and the amazing snake-like strap. I think I've shown you this a few times now because it's just a total dream, but I absolutely love this. And it went well with all the metallics in the dress. And to go with the blues in the dress, because it's very metallic, but then a lot of blues, I went with a pair of Malone Souliers. I love Malone Souliers, they make some absolutely stunning shoes, they're a lovely team as well. And this just worked well with the colours and the metallic, so a bit of that metallic silver running across here, and then the blue. So these were a great accessory for that. And the last piece to make sure I wasn't cold, I thought a bit of outerwear was necessary, was this blue woolen long line jacket from All Saints, which actually, I've actually worn so much already. I wore it in New York, I've been wearing it for most events recently, I wore it last night as, as well for an event that I went to. So it's actually a really, really great piece, so I wanted to mention it again. Don't know what my hair is doing today, it just looks really like bleh. And also, my purple kind of came out and fading it out, and it's now gone to a really kind of minty mix with the grey and silver. Actually, I really like it. <laughs> Okay, so day three. Really love this outfit. Now, I actually had two outfits for day three. First one being this incredible reef skirt that I've shown you a few times now. But I got to wear it for Fashion Week, so I was really pleased. In fact, did I wear this? I didn't get to wear this for New York. I don't think I was in New York. But I wanted to wear it at some point, and I got to wear it because it was all about greens. So into this, I took a gorgeous preen bodysuit. Again, because I was going to the preen show, and the preen team said they would like to dress me. So I got to wear this beautiful bodysuit, which now I can't show you because I've sent it back, but it'll be on the screen so you can see it. Although I'm actually thinking of buying one because I'm just absolutely in love with it. It was perfect. So it worked beautifully with this green skirt. I wanted to continue the forest green shades in that. So I wore that. I wore it with my super cool Celine box bag, which I don't get out enough, and it's one of my most favourite bags ever. It was one of the most kind of spendy purchases I ever saved up for. I saved for this for about a year and a half until I could actually find the right colour of it that I wanted. And the black grain. I mean, it's everywhere now, but at the time it was really rare and sold out. And I just absolutely love it, and it fits a lot in here. It's just a really gorgeous bag, and whenever I ever see anyone else wearing the Celine box bag, I always think, like, I love that bag so much, it's just so classic. With that, I also wore this incredible, I'm so in love with this, this incredible new leather jacket from All Saints. How cool is this? This stripey, very kind of sports look style, elasticated cotton fabric around the back, just adds that very sporty, cool vibe. And then to the shoulders is this beautiful oxblood shade with a cream piping. You're just gonna break up the colour so it's not all about the black, it's just a bit extra colour. And then you've got the black and white. Honestly, I'm so obsessed with this jacket. And it fits so well, and I just threw it on, it just kind of looked quite cool, quite biker chick. I just really love that. I think a lot of you probably love that a lot. And the final accessory were my Jean Vito Rossi black boots. Because I love the whole skirt with black boot thing or over knee boot thing. And these were a perfect choice. So this was the final accessory of the outfit and probably one of my faves. In fact, I'm not sure which was one of my faves because I really liked them all that I put together. So that was outfit number three. three. Then this was outfit number four and most probably my favourite, I think. This is a Reese blazer kind of trouser suit that I picked up literally like a day before I wore it. And as soon as it came, I was like, yay, perfect kind of fashion week outfit. I was so pleased. So underneath the suit, first of all, so I wore this beautiful. Full. I mean, it's kind of similar to what I'm wearing now, not quite as thick, but a really lovely, very soft, cottony, I'm not sure if it's cotton, I think it will be, cottony fabric roll neck. It's super easy, but a gorgeous shade. It's very taupe grey, purpley, lilac, lavender, all the shades, taupey shade, and it just worked really well with this whole suit. Now, let me take that out so I can show you. The suit comprises of these trousers, 
Now I got these in a four because in the past I've had Reese trousers and they've always been a little bit too big, um, especially when it comes to their leather trousers. I've always sized down with those, I'll be honest. So I got these in a four and they actually fit really, really well. Quite tight and fitted, but that I'd rather have them fitted than too loose. These are described as off-white and in fact they're a little bit more cream than the blazer. You probably might not be able to see it on camera here, but when I started having pictures taken, I started to realise these are actually slightly more cream, but it actually doesn't bother me that much. I feel the colour difference is very insignificant. They work really well together. To be honest, if I'd gone into store and picked it up rather than getting it kind of online, I might have been able to pick another pair of trousers, because I'm pretty sure they do a few pairs of white trousers this season. So I would maybe just have a little look around, but these fit really nicely, a bit more of a cropped style, which is what I wanted, not too long. So it worked really well with the heels which I'll show you in a sec. So those are the trousers and this is the blazer which is absolutely stunning and I've been looking for a blazer like this for a few months now and not been able to find one and I was looking at the Givenchy one which is about £1,600 and was like no I don't want to spend that on a white blazer that's not going to ruin whereas this is just absolutely perfect. I mean it's Reese so it's not exactly like a lower high street price. It's obviously an upper high street price but it's something I'm going to wear so much honestly. Although I put it on and within five minutes I'd already got makeup on the sleeve but that's just me it's, it'll come out fine I'll get it dry cleaned so the suit together with this lovely taupe top and then these heels are an absolute favorite Malone Soulier new season shoes in the gorgeous metallics there's silver rose gold and then a gold here and then the rest is all black and again I got so many compliments on these they're a beautiful mule they're very easy to walk in I got my normal size and they fit really well because often mules I know kind of cut you off at the back here and it's often better to go maybe half size up so maybe say if you're thinking of buying them and you can get a half size up I'd maybe go a half size up I'll be honest but if not then these do fit me fine as my usual size I think they're absolutely stunning and then the bag oh the bag okay so I was going to the Mulberry show so I wanted to take along my brand new Mulberry and this is the new Bayswater style bag it's beautiful it's just got so many gorgeous details obviously the new branding for Mulberry beautiful black grey and leather which is very very me it also comes with a strap which is inside the bag which isn't too long which is great so you could wear this cross body as well I'm pretty sure this is a small size I will leave the exact link down below I've got a link for this which is the perfect link for it so you can find it but I was so smitten with this bag and it kind of worked with the black piping on the shoes and as a nice contrast to the white suit and finally outfit number five outfit number five of the week which I actually wore on day four because I wore those two outfits in one day final outfit comprised of a new pair of jeans now I know a lot of people will be like, oh you wore jeans to fashion week, but it's like, well, yeah, I wear jeans all the time, generally, and I don't believe that jeans are extremely casual, I feel you can really dress them up and down, and they're just a great pair of trousers, to be honest. So these are a pair from Paige, fit really, really lovely, they're just a very simple black skinny jean, no distressing, no nothing, just a well fitted pair of black jeans which I think everyone needs in their wardrobe, quite frankly. For accessories, I wore that with a new pair of Chloe boots. These are just a very kind of spring to summer boot, so I thought, why not wear them for the transition? And I wasn't cold, I mean, it wasn't cold at all this day. I do really love boots that show your toes. I think it's quite a nice style, so shows your toes here, cool cutouts either side, great high length and a beautiful heel. The heel's probably my favorite thing on here, and also a really lovely buckle. So I wore those. In terms of a bag, I finally got to wear the new Bally Susie bag. Really beautiful, they do lots of different colours in this. This is the gorgeous one with the white and the gold rivets and I don't know if you can see this but it's a B. The little hook is a B for Bally and it's actually got quite a lot of space inside of here. It fits a lot in here. Beautiful suede lining and then gold hardware. Great gold strap. It's a good size to throw across your shoulder and quite often like for this day I just kind of wore it underneath my arm in the crook of my arm. It's just a very cool shape and I feel that Bally is really quite underrated. I think it's an amazing brand and I always see so many things of theirs and totally swoon over them I mean like like that amazing bag I was wearing last week and pink coat from Bally absolutely love those so that was that and the main piece of this outfit which is completely unbuttoned which is so typical was this shirt I've had my eye on this for so long it's a Stella McCartney shirt beautiful silk fabric with the dog print all over it I mean how cool seriously 
I know it's very unique and a little bit different, especially for me, but I just love it. I just saw it and thought it looked so chic on the model on net porte She had it kind of a bit open like this and tucked a little bit tucked into some trousers and then a really big coat through on the top. And she just looked so amazing. And I was like, I want to look like her. So I tried out and actually really loved it. I mean, I wore it with my hair up. It would probably look really cool, your hair down and quite messy as well and quite fun. But I just wanted it with like my hair up and a little bit sort of messy at the back. And really loved it. I think it's an absolute beautiful shirt and I'm pretty sure this comes in trousers, it comes in a dress so if you do like this print but you're not sure about the shirt then it comes in a few different ways I'll leave the links down below of course and the final thing that went with that outfit is the outerwear was another All Saints jacket and it's this more oversized fit grey marl woolly coat just a really easy piece just one button to button you in it's got a much more oversized style so the way it falls on your shoulders is a little bit lower so it's got that more kind of androgynous masculine fit which I really really liked and I just sort of threw it over the top of everything for this outfit because there's a little bit of tan there's a bit of white there's a bit of cream there's a bit of black and I was like I'm just gonna throw in another neutral and throw my grey jacket over the top and I really wanted to wear this so that was the final piece for that outfit. That is absolutely everything that I wore for London Fashion Week this time. Like I said, make sure you check out that glamour video that I mentioned because it's actually really brilliant and I'd love to get your feedback on it. Make sure you leave down comments on that as well. So I'll leave that link down below as well so you can go have a little peek. If you are new here, please do hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you back and make two videos a week. But if you've been here before, then welcome back. I hope you enjoyed this video and I guess I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.